Hello again everybody on YouTube, okay, and all my viewers, okay, I want to say thank you so much for joining me again. This is a special video, okay, wait for it, <laughs> the introduction is a special video, it's a request. Okay, I'm making this video as a request uh, from Dinsley, okay, my good um, bro, martial arts brother and friend online. Okay, uh, me and Dinsley have been good friends for a long time now. Um, and as I say, I think everybody in the world, you know, does need good friends and, and people who share the passion and interest in the same things, you know. So if you're a martial artist out there, you, you know what that means when you can like communicate with someone on that level who are, who who's who knows the martial arts, be it whatever style, and um, knows you know the, the goodness that you can get from martial arts training. It's like any subject though, you know, people share different interests and passions and, and that's what brings people together sometimes. So yeah, um, Demsley uh, is like me, um, me and Demsley uh, both train a number of different martial arts. I know um, there are people out there in the world who uh, focus uh, primarily on one style of martial arts, or mostly, but the thing with um, me is myself is I practice a lot of different kinds of martial arts. But um, Demsley, my brother, you know, Demsley picked up on something, and that was very true. And that is, of course, that I usually talk about kung fu, yeah, kung fu or kung fu, wushu, mainly the Chinese styles of martial arts, mainly. And um, I'm, you know, I I promote that a lot through my videos as well as you know. Um, you know, it's always about wushu this, kung fu that, you know, and kung fu, kung fu all the time. Um, <clears throat> some of you may know that I have practiced other martial arts. Uh, when I was young, my first martial art I ever learned was karate. I learned for a few years of karate. I'm not too sure which style it was. That was when I was 12. Um, then later on, I did kickboxing. I did some heavy duty training in kickboxing. Um, to me it was heavy duty because I'm, I'm, I'm the late shit was it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, not, I'm not the toughest guy but I mean that training was real hardcore. Um, and then later though, uh, yeah I moved on to the Kung Fu systems. Other things like online, like learning bits and pieces are online like the ninjutsu and things like that I'm very fascinated in. And other arts, uh, be you know Aikido, Hapkido, you know the Japanese, Korean arts, and all that. I love all martial arts, okay. But this is the thing, okay. Now Demsley is a martial artist like me who practices a number of different martial arts. Uh, I wouldn't say a mixed martial artist because uh, I don't want to put this the wrong way, but I don't get my shit mixed up. <laughs> and if that's what you want to call it. And that's what it is. <laughs> Shit, but but you know, in all fairness, in the respect of others and the respect of ourselves, which martial arts is all about and kung fu is all about, you know, you will know the goodness. You will know very well that which you have, what you've been training. That truth itself will not lie to you. You can feel. It within you, what what you are, you know, and it's a, you know if you're a musician and you you know play the violin or whatever the f you know whatever playing a violin or whatever it might be, if your passion lies in music, then that music is just running through you the whole all throughout the day. I'm sure you're getting ideas for new tunes and new ways of playing music. You know what I mean? But it's like anyone. You could be a chef cooking, you could be an artist, a painter, whatever, it is a thing. But this is what martial arts always talks about. Kung Fu talks about this, and then even going back and studying the other stuff, like the Budo and the Samurai days, talking about mastering yourself and mastering different arts. Yeah, fair enough, you go back and look into the culture and the, of the ancient you know, peoples, you know, in, in either China, Japan, or wherever, wherever in the world, or ancient civilizations, and um, they're being like, laid down certain um, certain rules that you know certain disciplines that must be upheld by a samurai, for example, you know, and would 
wood cutting, you know, wood wood make what do you call it? Woodsmanship or whatever, you know, fucking uh, tea making and all the rest of it, you know, it's like a soldier of the modern day might need to understand, you know, um, medicine of first aid and things like that. But what I'm saying is, is it's just the lessons are there. The same way as you need to take care of like, every part of your body in the martial arts. <coughs> Excuse me. Martial arts is there to remind you that you need to be balancing and taking care of everything in your life. You know, what you do, and the more knowledge you can get from this beautiful experience that we have, we, we call life, you know, it is like a mir- mirror of ourselves. Uh, it's a mirror of ourselves. You know, it's always the truth is there in our face. Whenever you are thirsty, you know, or hungry, you need to go and work out how to get that. Well, you need that nutrition, you know what I mean? It's always there. How to cross that bridge, how to, you know what I mean? So, for me, it's real deep, but... Densley, I my bro, hi Densley, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut to the chase. You know, he asked me to make this talk video uh, about my, how, how I found Kung Fu, basically. How... Kung Fu, um, how I chose to take that path, you know, of, of, fact of being a Kung Fuist as a martial artist as such, more so than the other martial arts, or how Kung Fu found me, you say. <coughs> I think that's the great way to, of saying, actually, that Kung Fu found me, or well, martial arts found me anyway on the whole, but, uh, you know, <laughs> either way it's the same thing. What I believe, okay, is you know you can go, you can go to Jackie Chan if you want, and you can say, you know, you can say, ah, oh, like Jackie Chan says, everything is kung fu and all that, but it truly is. Now, recently, okay, I saw a clip online. I saw a clip. I saw a trailer for some film. The film. I saw a trailer online, okay, for some film. It looks funny, but. I'm not at all interested in it. It's um, Ralph Macchio, whatever his name is. You know the guy from Karate Kid, the original Karate Kid classic films, the, the young, you know, Daniel Daniel Russo, you know. Of course, he's older now, but he's made a new movie, you know, um, it's called a Wax, I think it's called Wax On, fuck off, apparently. Wax On, fuck off. It was a funny trailer, but you know what? To me, it was just another stab a stab in the back basically to martial arts. I see a lot of the time now, I see people, I see a lot of these, you know, the times are changing, the youth of today is changing, the attitude of people is changing, and people are not so pure as they once were. And you might look back on the old movies such as things like Karate Kid, the original, you know, things like that, and you might look and say, and take the piss, you know, just just like these stars of these films once did, you know, and now they're growing up and they're looking at it in a different way and taking the mick and making fun, you know, take it, making fun of, of the old stuff. But you know what I'm saying, it's cheesy and all this, but to me, right, back in the day, people were more pure. And when you watch an old film like Karate Kid, I don't care if you go back and say that's naff, or even like the old Rockies, you know, for example, you know. You might say that, but to me they were. They were really, really in depth, right on spot on, on key, you know, really talking about the emotions of a person. They were very simple, fair enough, they were straight to the point, but those old movies, they were talking about the very true essence of martial arts. Now they say all of the martial arts came from Kung Fu, really, or basically were spin-offs or you know derived from Kung Fu in China. The you know the Okinawans, Japanese, and all that, and uh, later other places, you know, Korea started to form their own systems and were very influenced by Kung Fu systems, Shaolin and the different Kung Fu systems. So you've got you know karate systems which contain elements of, of the white crane fist and things like that. But what I'm saying is, I'm not gonna, I'm not, you know, gonna beat around the bush. What I'm trying to say, basically, is you go back and you look at those old kung fu films, though, you know. So those old um, 1980s, 70s, just just going back. The further you go back, I feel you find people were smarter back in the day. It was, it was, it's just people in this modern day and age. They're learning laziness. 
and basically they just got this it's like a sickness of the mind I feel they're just dis disgusting pigs Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 